Hey everybody, I'm Helge Pegler, the producer for the upcoming RPG Shadows Heretic Kingdoms. You're watching the first part of Development Diary and right now I would like to introduce you to Peter Nagy, head of Gamesform. Thanks Helge for the introduction. So now I would like to uh, talk for a little bit about our diaries where we will provide uh, some more information about Shadows development and its content and features. So, uh, the Games Farm, uh, our studio, is located in Slovakia, which is a really beautiful country in the heart of the Europe. Our headquarters are in Košice, which is the second largest city in Slovakia, and it's located in the eastern part of the country. But let's not waste time and let's jump right into the studio where we work on Shadows. Oops, that's Keto Farm. This is not definitely the Game Farm, so <laughs> I don't know how this happened. Okay, sorry. So we're here we are in the right farm finally. This is our studio where we work on the Shadows Heretic Kingdoms. Shadows have origin back in 2004 when we have released uh, our first game called Heretic Kingdoms. Shadows bring a unique combination of uh, action-oriented combat, uh, deep engaging storyline, uh, branch dialogues, puzzles, and this all together creates a unique combination to this genre. Combat is important, but equally important puzzles, story, uh, and both challenges and dialogues. We have designed Shadows as an RPG with uh, spoken dialogues, swinging swords, and a complex of character development. Players who played our original cult may encounter really familiar characters and uh, locations in Shadows. But you know, uh, some time has passed since the events of Cult Hearty Kingdoms, and the world has really changed. The environment variety is huge in Shadows. Uh, we have jungles, we have de deserts, uh, mountains and plains, uh, frozen lands and volcanic regions, and we will visit even the mystical and ethereal places. But we will return to the environments later on in Travelogues. For Shadows we have considered several engines and developed multiple prototypes. At the end we have decided to use Ogre 3D engine, which is an open source project and seems to suit very well for our needs. We had to adjust some parts of the engine to our needs, but at the end it will work pretty well as you will see on yourself. We use uh, different, different shading, uh, we use off-screen particles, post-process shaders, and we developed also uh, the entire tool sets which we are using for the development. But let's check the game itself and its main features with Peter, our lead level designer, who will introduce you one of the main features of the game, Shadow Realm. Hi, I'm very excited to show you something from our Shadow Realm right now. In Shadow Realm, you will encounter the spirits of long dead people. You will talk to them, you will be able to help them or even fight them. While some of the characters are present only in one world, the other characters, like mages for example, and perhaps some elementals and others, are present in both worlds. They are so-called Shadow Walkers. The main character, the Devourer, is a creature of the Shadow Realm that feeds on souls. Only those souls which are exposed to a very high dose of the Shadow's Essence can be consumed, dominated and controlled. The Devourer can also materialize his souls into the mortal realm. That's how the Devourer can be present in both worlds. In Shadow Realm, as himself, and in the mortal world, in form of his souls. But each soul still keeps its own personality and even in some situations, these souls may prevail. This will allow you to experience the countless party variations and dialogues. But the party system is such a major feature that it really deserves a separate development diary. The blasted plains of the Outlands, perhaps the most desolate place in the Heretic Kingdoms. According to legend, this was once a great lake, but when the great rift was torn open, the water drained away, leaving only parched mud and sand. The desert stretches out as far as the eye can see, broken only by stone crags worn by centuries of sandstorms. The outlands have long been infested with undead, since all who die amidst the dust soon reanimate, unless their body is disposed of carefully. 
This attracts large numbers of slavers to the region, particularly those strange crocodilians known as Sebekan from the mysterious lands beyond the Burning Wall. From the Tholian Plateau to the oasis at the foot of the jagged peaks, the outlands are rife with perils that beset the unwary. Thank you very much, Peter, for showing us the first region of Shadows Heretic Kingdom. So, what can we expect from the upcoming Death Diaries? Well, in the next diary we are going to meet uh, Chris Bateman from International Hobo, who is writing uh, the story for Shadows. We will show you something more from the beginning of the game and give you also some information on the story. And at the end we are going to visit Taimuria, the land of the wolves. Thanks for watching. Comment it, like it and share it. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.